Hello, my name is Steven Sinclair, and I'm here in the Acuity Audiovisual Innovation Center. In this series of videos, we will be exploring common audio and video problems that plague churches. Whether you worship in a traditional fashion, with hymnals and an organ, or like to rock and roll with drums and an electric guitar, chances are that you are or have experienced some annoying issues. This series will hit on some of the basic theoretical principles surrounding AV, as well as many of the classic mistakes made in worship spaces the world over each and every week. So what are some of these issues? Let's start with audio. First, we have to start with just plain old bad sound. Whether it's muddy, harsh, boomy, or squeaky, probably second on the hit list would be feedback. There is nothing more distracting than a constant low frequency noise or a high pitched squeal. He was an old man who fished alone in the skiff in the Gulf Stream, and he had gone 84 days now without taking a fish. In the first 40 days, a boy had been with him, but after 40 days without a fish, the boy's parents had told him that the old man was now definitely and finally sleeping, which is the worst form of all. The sail was pitched with flower stems and furled. It looked like the flag of permanent disaster. Sometimes the issue is bad coverage, bad room acoustics, or noises such as hissing, crackling, or popping. In some cases, there are audio voltage mismatches, or the problem is an overpowering band issue. Now let's look at video problems. Wrong aspect ratio leaving either black bars on the sides, or the content is cut off. Sometimes there may be glowing figures, dark darks, or the video is washed out. But in all seriousness, any distractions that detract from the message and the worship may lessen the impact of the word on the hearts of the listeners. Many of the problems mentioned above can be solved with relatively simple solutions. Allow us to point the problems and suggest some resolutions. Stay tuned.